So I found this week's uh, discussion very interesting about um, uh, direct-to-consumer genetic testing. Uh, it's a very novel idea where people are able to um, sequence their genome and figure out what genes they have that may be uh, important to their lives, such as uh, probably disp disposition to obesity, um, to heart problems, and glau glaucoma. Um, there's many, many different traits that these, ta uh, these tests test for. Um, I do have a problem, however, with the fact that these tests are being taken at home by individuals that have very little background in either health or in genetics. Uh, most people don't realize how complex the um, gene expression is. And with a physician or a doctor, they're able to coach people through these uh, certain things and they're able to um, really observe the person's uh, lifestyle. For example, if you go into a uh, clinic, they'll be able to observe your family history, uh, your physical level, your health, your weight, height. They'll take all those things into the, account when uh, talking to you about these certain predispositions. Um, for example, someone that's in their late or, or, late or early 20s that's very active, um, going working out every day, eating very healthy. Um, let's say they go ahead and take one of these tests and they figure out they have a gene for obesity. Uh, they may be may become very stressed out about this and actually work out and eat in a very unhealthy way, which would be very detrimental. A very specific example of this is actually with CYP450. Uh, um, so that's a certain gene that has to do with the effectiveness of SSRI, so selective serotonin re reuptake inhibitors, uh, which are used in antidepressants. Um, People that receive this, these tests, um, which actually some of these uh, testing companies do provide, um, they may, may look at it and think, oh, um, I'm not very, th these SSRIs don't have a great effect on me, so they increase their dosage. Um, this is a very concerning issue since when physicians uh, pres prescribe a higher dosage, they're monitoring them constantly to make sure they're all, all right, and this can actually um, lead to um, overdosing on on drugs. Um, so I find it find it very concerning, and I would much rather prefer that these tests are done in person with a physician. And there's also the potential of actually a database link where these companies receive genetic information, and then they're hacked, and your genetic information is all over the dark web and we don't really want to know what people can do with our genetic information. And it's something that's very personal and something that should be kept locked away, honestly, in a hospital where they have very, very uh, secure servers there. And they're also protected by federal reg regulations such as HIPAA. Um, there's no regulation on these companies as of right now. So they can kind of do whatever they want with that information. Um, this is what, these are my thoughts and I look forward to hearing others thoughts on this uh, subject.